So I've got a start here on my votive. I've got pretty much everything glued on, um, but I'll show you how I did it. So um, the glue is pretty thick. This is glue specifically made for mosaics. So it has like a really thick consistency. It's supposed to be pretty strong to keep these tiles on. And I'm gonna smear a little bit on the back of my tile. And so the back to me is pretty much just the less pretty side. And you can kind of pick what that is. You can kind of tell too, like some of them are a little bit more textured or a little less shiny. So that's my tile on there. I did the rest of them in the same way and just leave it there um, a few hours for for it to completely dry. I will say though that because the glue is so strong, you can try to do the next step before those few hours are up and you should be okay. Just be gentle with putting the grout on. This next part I'm wearing gloves for because it will get a little bit messy as you can see just from opening <laughs> the grout container. Um, I have stuff on me. So the grout I've pre-sorted for you and measured out with my lovely volunteer and we're going to just spread it across the entirety of um, the votive here. So I, in my design, want the top to be clear so I didn't put any tiles up close to the top and I'm only going to grout the bottom of these tiles. That's my design because I want it to still show light through. So we're going to take a small portion of the grout and just smear it on. Shoot, see, I rushed. <laughs> I rushed uh, getting this video done, so that last tile that I put on there is a goner. But I'll figure that out in a little bit. So, um, you know, maybe don't rush yours. Give it those few hours to dry. So, you can see I've got the whole area covered and um, yeah, with a pretty big glob of this grout it's okay that your tiles are covered in grout right now we're gonna take care of that in the next step so that they can shine through and uh, you know be revealed after we clean off the grout. So I'm just using the last little bits to get in between each of these tiles and I want the area to be kind of even. So I'm taking off in some parts, I'm putting on in some parts. And then in hindsight it probably would have been good to since I want to keep the top clear to put a piece of tape on there like painters tape or like a washi tape or something just to cover it up um, but you know hindsight is 2020 and uh, I'll just learn from from uh, having to do the extra work this time but that's okay um, I can always just rub it off with my sponge and then the other thing I was gonna fix was that missing tile I'm just gonna kind of tuck it in there and that'll be okay maybe put a little bit more, more grout at the top so yeah I want like a good amount on here but the thicker it is, the longer it's going to take to dry. So that's why I'm kind of rubbing some off. But yeah, you can always leave yours on thicker if you're going to take an afternoon to do this. 
yeah, for the sake of this video, you know, I'm trying to rush it so I can uh, finish it up and get this on YouTube for you guys. So yeah, it looks weird right now, but we'll let it dry and then I'll see you guys for the next step. I got a bit of a start here <clears throat> on uh, cleaning up my grout. So um, yeah, w I would wait. So it's like 15 to 20 minutes. Um, 20 minutes is really on the far end of that spectrum. So if you can get to it closer to the 15, that's great. Um, especially here, you know, with the dryness, uh, I think this really starts to harden quickly. So yeah, I did a first pass just with a wet sponge, um, you know, run it under the water, squeeze it out. You don't want it to be dripping this stuff. And you'll kind of see when you start rubbing it, it'll it'll get this like foamy consistency. Um, so this is after a few passes. So I wiped off the grout from some of these. Now that it's starting to harden, I might have to use a little bit of nail in here to get some of this stuff off. I missed a few pieces here, um, which I should have noticed because there's kind of big chunks of white space that shouldn't really be there because I spaced these out um, you know, about a quarter of an inch apart. If you think you're missing something, you can always check the inside of your candle and see where all of your tiles are. So after you do the first pass, you'll still have some grout on these tiles so you can take your sponge, um, you know, pretty dry and just do one more pass to just polish it off. So I'm going to finish up here and then I'll show you the final result. As you can see, I have polished up the tiles. I could always go back in and do a little bit more. I've got just a little, you know, a little bit of uh, grout still in some of the crevices, but it came off really nicely. It actually also came off really well from the glass at the top. And yeah, I really like it. So now it's just uh, it's gonna take putting a candle in and lighting it up. And you should be getting some light through a lot of these tiles. <laughs> 